Greetings, AI Manifest at your service. This video will give you all the information you need in order to create AI art animations. The workflows displayed in this video are all tested for quality assurance and are included in my own personal workflow. With that said, let's get started. This video will cover nine sections. Please see the sections attached. Create and set up your Google account. This is important because you need it. It is the essential function you will need in order to have a seamless and convenient workflow. Creating and set up should be straightforward. Download Google Drive for desktop. This is important because it allows for easier file access and transfers to bring your frames or images onto your desktop. Highly recommended, must have. Access Google Takeout, another Google tool that makes five larger files of two gigabytes or more easier to download as a single zip file. Anything over 50 gigabytes will create multiple zip files. This will be used in the case that you use a framework scaler, scaler via Colab, which will cause high file sizes. Google Takeout makes this process of downloading the larger files more straightforward and convenient. Visit Google Colab and set up a Pro or Pro Plus account. Colab is free, but the free version simply lacks the power to create qual great quality animations. Highly recommended is the Pro version, which will give you stronger and more consistent GPUs, but is still limited to a single notebook run at a time and is subject to frequent inactivity checks, which may cause disconnection and loss of progress. I use Pro Plus, which, gives, which provides you with the best GPUs consistently. It is a great cost of $499, but has allowed me to run wild with my imagination in creating AI art animations while also finding multiple ways to increase my workflow efficiency and add more tools to my arsenal. Make sure you always click on save, copy, and drive to save your progress in your notebooks. Visit Vast AI for on-demand GPU rentals. This is a great option if you want to have more control over your GPU capabilities. Vast AI offers the option to rent single or multiple GPUs at a time. The reason you may want to use Vast is to maximize your animation potential. By getting the strongest GPUs available, you will be able to load the more powerful models or just load more models outright to create the best quality animations. You just need to create an account with Vast, load credits using a credit card, and rent a GPU to use in Colab or in a Jupyter Notebook. If I get enough requests for this, I will make a tutorial and a workflow displaying how exactly to best operate Vast AI to create AI animations. PYTTI Disco Diffusion. I will scroll down two of my best notebooks, one for PTT, PYTTI, and one for Disco Diffusion. 
both are accessible to the public, but PYTTI also has a version called PYTTI Tools, managed by the great one, Dig That Data himself. You can get the original version of PYTTI from Sports Racers 48 Patreon for a simple $5. For PYTTI, feel free to look at my settings and use them to your liking. There are a multiple of there are a multitude of options to choose from, and an unbelievably amazing 3D animation environment output by this AI. I made my first animation on this channel with it, and absolutely go check it out. I then got hooked into Disco Diffusion, which has recently become the bulk of my creations. This AI is so amazing and is updated rather frequently, providing users with the latest clip models to create breathtaking and jaw-dropping images. Check out my playlist in the description or on my channel to see just what this baby can do. This notebook in, in display right now is my breathtaking masterpiece. I won't speak too much on it, but just know that this notebook is so special to me because the output it produced stole my heart. Feel free to see and use the settings, but if you would like to access the notebook, I have shared it on my Patreon to, to my top tier of our patrons as a thank you for supporting me to continue doing this amazing thing as AI art animation. Image or video upscaler, Topaz, Gigapixel, Image Quality Bundle, Video Enhance AI, or Super Res ESR GAM. If you want the highest quality, go with Gigapixel. It is $99.99 US dollars, but worth every cent and more, and will give you the best looking frames, period. Check the link below for my affiliate code to download Gigapixel or any other Topaz software. Video Enhance takes Gigapixel and turns it into a video upscaler. Rather than just upscaling a single frame, it can upscale the entire video. This is the absolute quickest way to get the best quality video without having to process single frames, but at a hefty price of $199.99 US dollars. Highly recommended though. Super Res ESR GAN is able to be operated in Colab Notebook. This is where that Pro, Pro or Pro Plus Colab comes in handy because the fastest GPUs can upscale the images faster than your local GPU if you don't have the strongest one out there. Using this method, Google Takeout can be used to export its output conveniently. Highly recommended. Frame Interpolation frames per second upscaler, Flow Frames, Google Film Collab Notebook. Flow Frames is available through New Grad's website, but the most recent update, updated versions are on his Patreon for a mere $5 US dollars. This is the absolute best interpolation software, but requires the absolute best hardware to run ideally. Support for lower tier hardware can be find, found on his Discord, so check that out if you need help. This process is highly recommended to first have the individual frames upscaled and then fed into flow frames for interpolation. This is the best process I've found from the best out there. Shout out to Human Instrument. I use Google Film Interpolation, which produces gorgeous interpolation through a collab notebook. The process to get this workflow up and running takes some work, but it is absolutely worth it. Film interpolates your frames and also creates an MP4 file, and so does flow frames. At the quality the original frames are rendered. This is where Video Enhance AI comes in to save the day because it can upscale the entire thing to 4K. Ready to be posted, ready to be post-produced and finished rather than upscaling each frame individually. If Video Enhance AI isn't for you because of the price, upscale the frames individually. I do it and it still works for me. It takes much longer, but quality is better than quantity in this case, where the quality of the animation is better than the quantity of the animations I could be producing if I didn't have to do individual frame upscaling.
file renamer. Mac OS can use the native Windows and use power, Microsoft Power Tools. Once the frames are upscaled and ready to be processed into the video editor of your choice, they need to be renamed to a sequential order of numbers, depending on the editor you use. For a result, the file names will start with a zero. I do zero, zero, one, underscore one, and so forth. For a Premiere Pro, they have to start with one. I use one, underscore one. Import the frames into the editor of your choice and let the perfect AI art animation commence. For Mac OS, you can rename your frames by selecting all frames and clicking on File, Rename, and entering the required sequence. For Windows, download Power Toys and use the Bulk Rename tool to rename your files. Make sure you sort the original frames by name first or risk ruining your sequence. Audio. YouTube Audio Library or Epidemic Sound, paid version. YouTube Audio Library offers free music, which for the most part serves its purpose. I use this always to create my videos, but Epidemic Sound is a paid option, which has thousands of options to choose from. Feed this into your animation and create your video. Video editing and post production. DaVinci Resolve 17, 4K, 30 frames per second max. And Premiere Pro, monthly subscription of $19.99 US dollars. Last but most definitely not least, you need a reliable video editing source. I've used Resolve 17 since my first animation, but recently upgraded with the grace of my, patron, my patrons to Premiere Pro, which has caused me to finally be able to produce juicy 4K ultra high definition, 60 frames per second content. I used Resolve to create this workflow tutorial and Premiere Pro to produce my AI art animations. That's it for this video. The links to the entire workflow will be in the description. And if you have any questions, message me directly in the comments, my Patreon, or my Discord. Feel free to follow me on TikTok, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.